What's happening, Free Gang? We are coming to you live, but not live, from inside our house in London, inside a toast fest. Well, it's not much of a toast fest, I guess, but there's toast going on. What have you got on your toast, Jojo? Jam. Jam. I was really annoyed that avocados were got not right. I love an avocado and Marmite combination. I've had to go for Vitalite spread and Marmite. It's good enough, it's good enough for now. Comment below, we've asked this many times, but I just love hearing all of the different combinations that come up. Comment below, what are your favorite combinations to go on toast? Give us some inspiration here. Let's see if I can try something new I haven't a had before. A combination of comments. A combination of, you can't put those on toast, can you? Sm smear some lettuce on toast. Oh. Alphabetti spaghetti on toast. That's a good idea. You can probably see in the background as well, we're in the middle of the land of Lego. Not Lego land, that's in Windsor. But the land of Lego here. I've got so into the compartmentalization of Lego at the moment. We've got so many more tubs. We've probably got about 40 tubs here or so. And I want to get more. And I want to compartmentalize things. When we had our niece and nephew Henry and Lulu around here the other day, we actually got out some of the booklets and started to make the sets. And it was so easy to find all of the pieces for the set. See how excited I was? The camera was shaking and everything. How's that jam on toast, Jojo? It's good. It's good. And you've got a nice exercise ball there, haven't you? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we did our morning routine as usual this morning. And now we've only just stepped into breakfast. But we've got this inflated ball here. It's just good for exercise when we open up the space and room. Just exercise around to roll around on. Jojo enjoys it. It's really good for a as well. And I can see a head popping around the corner. <laughs> and I not only pumped that ball up yesterday, but I pumped up Aragog as well. Aragog has been reset to his usual state. He's no longer a saggy old man. Jojo is no doubt going to retrieve him now. We put him outside because he was a bit dusty yesterday because he was because he was on the floor. Yeah. And then a spider web attached the spider web to him outside. Maybe they were trying to make friends. This is just the way spiders work, Mummy. If you're wondering why Mummy is just a head around the corner it's because she's just come out of the shower and is all not ready let's say I'm not ready i'm gonna go and get ready though. go and get ready yes aragog is now back to normal size you don't have to get jealous of the other ball aragog what a piece of me and i am gonna tuck into this toast you surface now mummy and your head is now attached to your body yes making some porridge are we yeah interesting this isn't your first breakfast though is it mummy you had a no. cheeky moment didn't you oh yes <laughs> i did have a cheeky moment <laughs> <laughs> leftover Pringles from the other day. These ones are really, really nice as well, paprika. So I did have a few sneaky ones of these and I got caught eating them. But when they're up there, I don't, I sh you need to hide them from me. You have no self-control, yeah, do you? I have no self-control. Comment below, Free Gang, is there any foods like that, like snacky foods that you have around the house that when they're out, you just end up eating them and you can't control yourself? You're like that with crisps, aren't you? Yeah, I'm liking the crisps, the bread, chocolate. Everything! Avocados. Avocado? No. Yeah, no, but they're not oh. ones. The sort of thing that you see and you just go just, and just pick them and eat. Chips. Oh, no, well, chips are in the freezer. Um, Stop naming bad things. I'm sorry about this free game. I was hoping this would work out better. Oh, ma I like it with mangoes as well. Ma oh, yeah. Mangoes, definitely. Yeah. I did a what, what I ate in the day video ages ago. Like someone in the comments said, oh, I bet she doesn't eat that healthy. I'm like, I do. I really, really do. Porridge is just a regular staple in our lives. My hair's going in there. Yeah, it's so healthy, your extra, hair's in there. Extra protein. Yeah, I actually do. I eat these big bowls of porridge all the time. It's, it's really quite cool. regular with all of us. It has been for years as well. Yeah. Porridge is a good all-rounder. You can get so much in there. You can get sweet stuff, healthy stuff, chunky stuff, squidgy stuff. You name it. Berries, bananas, other things beginning with B, with emphasis. What else are we doing today then, Mummy? I've got, like, if you're wondering why it's so noisy in here, the distiller's on, the dishwasher's on, the washing machine's on. I'm on. He's, his mouth's <laughs> going, as usual. It's one of those days when we're just like, Get stuff yeah, done. we've just got, we've got paperwork to do, housework to do. We've got to go out later as well. Yeah, we're going to a really cool event in London. I've got Jamie coming back, and she has gone and done something behind our back. Mmm, I'm kind of disappointed as well, I'm upset. Are you? Yeah, because I thought it was something we were going to do together. Yeah, this, is, this is Jamie, she gets, she's so spontaneous, isn't she? Yeah. She'll find something and go, oh, want it now, bang. But you'll find out about her when she comes home, because yeah. you can't really explain. I'll show you what she's done. Yeah, we'll show you. Yeah, when she gets home. Let's... You can pass judgment with us, Frigo, yeah. you're on our side. Like, they're probably not, they're probably on No, you're probably not. <laughs> they'll be like, let her do what she wants. Leave her alone. So you've got a nice big bowl of porridge there, mummy. It's huge. You put so much in there, so many berries in there. We've got mulberries, seeds, blueberries, goji berries. Yeah, I've got the chocolate protein powder. You naughty girl. Wheatgrass powder. Oh, do you know what else I put in there? What? You know, we had leftover 
the treacle tart filling. Oh really? That's gone in there, isn't it? Yeah. Oh yes. I wanted to say this to you guys. Thank you so much for all your amazing comments on Jojo's Harry Potter video. Yeah, lovely. Like, because so much work went into that and he'd, he wanted to do it for so long. And we just kind of kept putting it off, didn't we? And I think because we knew it would take a lot of work. It's yeah. Like, I haven't got time right now, but... Yeah. He, I think he'd wanted to do it, he, he's been wanting to do it for like a year or something. Yeah. So we had been planning it for a while, but it's just like, just actually doing it and getting around to doing it. It happened at the right time though, because at the time we originally planned it, he didn't have his cloak, he didn't have his wand, and he got that yeah. in America when we hadn't planned to, so. Yeah, I don't think I've, we've ever had such wonderful messages on any video. It's like, it was just such a... Yeah, so much love. Thank you so much for Ego, and what a community. Yeah, and if you haven't seen it, go and check it out. Leave, leave us your lovely comments. Yeah, well leave Jojo, <laughs> you know, because Jojo loves reading your comments too, so, well, we sort of read them to him. Hmm. Uh, any that are for him, we read to him, so yeah. Leave Leave some comments for him. Well, we're gonna have to go now because I just noticed a Tesco man has popped up with our uh, home delivery. We don't always do shopping hauls, do we? Yeah, so, well, it's a kind of shopping haul, but they deliver the shopping haul to us. It is nice though to have your shopping delivered. And yeah. we are we are very fortunate in this country because we've had comments before where people have said they don't get their shopping delivered. Yeah, we're very enough. fortunate. It'd make a very boring video though, wouldn't it? Yeah. Just be submit order online and van turns up. Video done. Subscribe. Yeah. <laughs> Anyway, I'm gonna get on with my porridge now. Yeah, I've got Jojo's leftover porridge because he's had like three breakfasts this morning. He's had toast and he's had melon already as well. So he had a big bowl of porridge to be fair. And I get the scraps that he does, you know. No more. Oh, shopping's all here, mummy. We got some good stuff. Come what on. you got? Well, cause I was just arranging it. Cause like, I know the free game like to see the kind of things that we buy. So I was just arranging it. So I can show you guys like, this is the healthiest food haul ever. Look. You are turning this into a haul video. Well, I just want to show them because I'm like, I'm being healthy. I'm actually being healthy for one. We are yeah. normally healthy. Everything here is not only healthy, but everything was on offer. Tesco's got some really good deals at the moment. I think courgettes were 69p a pack, beef, gem, lettuces, grapes, a pound. The only things that was not on offer, I think, were these ground almonds. My goodness. Yeah, everything else. These were these raspberries, which I've got loads of bags of. I've got like six bags of, or like if you buy three bags, it's five pounds, so that's really good. Uh, oh, these are, yeah, 25% off. Are those ripe ones? I think they are ripe, yes. Ah. It's too late for your toast. Too late for the toast. You've already done your toast, yeah. haven't you? Well, 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 well. Healthy, there's a tub of ice cream over there. Oh. The Ben and Jerry's ice cream. Yes. Uh, I see the cheeky faces come out for this now, yeah? Rustling paper with nerves now. That's what you're gonna eat, isn't it? I oh, know, I'm showing my dress. I hope that didn't come out. <laughs> I have to keep that covered up. I know one of the three gang knows where we live. That's because they're one of our neighbours. It'd be hard not to know where we live. Yeah, I did get this. You know what it's like, guys, when you're trying to be healthy and then like something really good is on offer. We were talking earlier about those things you just go and pick off off the side. You've gone and picked something that was on the side on an online shop. Well, it was on offer. Peanut butter and cookies, non-dairy ice cream, Ben and Jerry. I think that needs to go in the freezer. It's dripping. <laughs> needs to go in my belly. No. Do you want to start putting it away? Let's get it in the fridge. In yeah, the let's get, yeah, let's put it away. What did you say, Jojo? Can we play Monsters? You want to play Monsters? Yeah. Part of the video. You want to make it part of the video? Yeah. Hang on a minute. I can hear crunching coming from the kitchen. What's that? What? What is happening here? What are you crunching on? I'm what are you doing? Oh, oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> Eating the Pringles, are we? I've made a cup of tea and I've just needed something to pass the time. Take 30 seconds. After you exposed me this morning for eating them, Jojo wants to play monsters. Should we try and take the free game with us? I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. Might break the camera. Tell, Jojo, <laughs> tell them how monsters work. How does it work? So one person beats a monster, and then like they, they just want to have like they just use some props or anything, and they just come and like attack the other two, and then we we, we each take one or two turns. I'm gonna take control of the camera, and I think we're gonna give this a go with the free game. You're gonna see it from me, the person running away from the monster's perspective, but then you'll join me as the monster. Let's go. The monster. Oh. 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 Ah! <laughs> 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 <laughs>
Are you alright? Did the camera like go did it follow through and hit the camera in your face? Ow, yeah. Oh crap, sorry, I did not expect that to happen. Ouch. Are you alright? <laughs> no. Are you okay? No. What happened? Where did it hit you? I was on the, on the camera. You hit Aragog in, on the camera and the camera hit me in the face. You were too much of an aggressive monster. You made me defend myself too much. We're going out tonight. I hope my nose doesn't swell up or anything. It's okay. Does well, it look alright? Yeah, it looks fine. If you want to look like Rocky Balboa. Oh, right. No! <laughs> Just be more mindful when I'm being a monster and attacking you. No. Get up! Don't tickle! <laughs> Get out of here! <laughs> <laughs> oh, don't try and escape in Jamie's room! <laughs> Get the monster back! Get the monster back! In the belly! <laughs> yeah, belly's no. the weakness! Oh, Jojo, you're here. What's happened? Monster one. You didn't defeat me. <laughs> I guess it's one nil to who, the monster. Who wants to be the monster now? Uh, he can have a good go. I got kicked in the mouth under those blankets by him. I think monster isn't the greatest idea anymore. No we both got way. injured. Yeah, he's, he's saying it's fine. He didn't get hurt. <laughs> he's like, what's the problem? What's the problem? You're all right. Come on. Yeah, come on. Let's not play silly games anymore. So that was a thoroughly enjoyable game of monsters, wasn't it? A few I injuries in there. I need a cup of tea after that and some chocolate. You drag me onto the floor at the end. You take it too far sometimes. You drew blood on my eye. I did not mean for that to happen. I just threw Aragog I've, back you at got, you. I've got makeup on so you can't see it. How convenient. I only threw Aragog at you just to get you away and I didn't expect the camera to hit you in the face. I'm sorry. Do you forgive me? I guess so. I guess so, thank you. Jojo's just watching Angry Birds, so we thought we'd come in in, in here and have a cup of tea and chockey. And uh, yeah, Jamie's gonna be home soon. Yeah, should we let them know what it is she's had done? Yes. Behind our backs. So for those of you that watch all of our videos, you'll know that Jamie for a long time has been asking about getting a tattoo. We actually did a video all about that not too long ago. And we said we had to wait until she was 18 and then she was fine with that. And we knew a tattoo artist, the same person that did the tattoo for me and Katie. And he was happy to do it. She decided what design she wanted to get and everything, the flower of life. It was gonna be a really nice tattoo. We were gonna go with her. Yeah. Cause I just felt like I wanted to go with her. I, d I wasn't pleased about the idea, but. You accepted it in that way. Didn't yeah, you? because I just have to accept, you know, any parents watching this, you know what it's like. You've got to let them live their own lives. You give birth to this beautiful baby. You don't want anything to like tarnish them. But then you've got to realise it's not your life. It's their life. So... It's my life. And they've got to make their own choices in life and learn, and have their own lessons. But we thought when she's ready, we'll go with her. Nathan. And, and like, we, we could be mentally ready then. Yeah, and then like, it'd be on Nathan's boat with someone we know. And it'd all be and a good be environment. Safe. It would be safe and everything. Because, you know, you don't know who you're getting tattoos from. So, yeah. You know, they could be... Unsanitised equipment and everything. Exactly. So we just thought, at least we know where someone that's safe and everything. And yeah. then she obviously just found John Tattoo down the high street and just went, yeah, go on then. And she's gone and got her own thing, hasn't she? Yes. Now, hopefully she'll be back very soon and then you can see the tattoo for yourself and tell us what you think as well. I mean, you may like it, but I guess it's from our perspective. I was so looking forward to her getting the flower of life. Mm. She chose that. And, and she's got something. It's, it's nice in its own way, but it's like something that you could not like when you're an adult. You like it now. Ah, oh, right, like okay. It, you, it's not timeless. <laughs> it's not timeless. I, it's, well, it's like getting that first boyfriend's name when you're like 10 years old and you fell out of love after yeah. a week. I mean, she's adamant that she's always gonna like this thing, but... Oh. Never know, there's lots of other things she liked a long time. J this is the thing, Jamie doesn't know herself that well because she moves on from things so quickly. She changes like the wind. I yeah. mean, she used to love Justin Bieber. Our next door neighbor looked a bit like Justin Bieber when he was younger. She tormented him. She like used to shout out the window at the top of her voice at him. Justin Bieber! Yeah, the so point quickly. is, yeah, she likes, she used to like Hannah Montana and like, you know, yeah. she changes like the wind. It'd be like if I went and got a tattoo of The Greatest Showman now. But then again, that now it's not the same because... You probably would. You yeah. probably would. But that's different though because I'll always love that. Will you? Yeah. Why wouldn't I? But anyway, you guys can judge for yourself what you think about it when you see her. Wow. 
Well, we've got some Lego building going on here. You've been sorting out as well, mummy? Yes, we're sorting out Lego. It's good, isn't it? How much fun is it sorting out? How satisfying is it? I, I, you got quite a bit done. It's nearly all gone. So basically, guys, this whole thing was filled up with mixed up Lego. So we've just been having a job trying to like get handfuls of it and then sort it out into different tubs. Yeah, it normally gets filled up when people play with stuff and then break it up. Yeah. And then just throw it in there. No so, more. So that, yeah, so when we get one of the instruction manuals out and we want to build something, we just go, oh, I need one of those. So in all of these tubs is like Lego Friends roller coasters, cupcake bars. A school, um, park, racing, school. that stuff Jojo got for his birthday. There's loads. I think one day we should just do a challenge and build every single set. We've got like probably like 50 sets, just build them yeah. all. Make a Lego village. Building Lego for 24 hours, non-stop. Oh my God. Challenge. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Anyway, Jamie just called me. How far away is she now? Um, she's not coming now. What? What happened? Um, I think uh, she said her friend's got a flat tire or something, and then she had to go and help him out with the oh. flat tire. So. Is it because she, she's going away tonight, isn't she? Yeah, she's going to wait. Uh, she's going away to Blackpool. So. Oh, how very convenient but for I her. I really wanted to. I really wanted to talk to her about her tattoo and yeah. show you guys the tattoo, but we'll just have to settle for a picture of the tattoo. So you can see the tattoo featured here. As you can tell, this is not the circle of life tattoo. Which Flower is... of life oh, tattoo. Yeah. And, and she said it was because the lady who did the tattoo wasn't confident we're doing circles. Oh, funny enough, the, the tattoo artist that we'd already agreed for her to do, to do it for her was confident. I don't know why she didn't do that. Yeah. Nathan, sorry man. I don't know if any of you know this, but the quote on the tattoo is from a movie which she loves. So much. It's a Disney film, and it's called Treasure Planet. Yeah. She says she's obsessed with this film. That's she's what she got. She's obsessed with the film, and it's her favourite Disney film ever. And I think all of the stars. That was her idea, wasn't it? Yeah. She just wanted to add her own little twist on it. Yeah. And I just said to her, "You're not always going to like Disney movies. You're not always. That's not always. Oh, they got Sam. Yeah. That's not always going to be your favourite film. And she's adamant that it's always going to be her favourite film, and she's always going to be happy, and she's never going to regret that tattoo. And we just have to just smile and just go, okay. Yeah, because when we found that out, we were just like, ah, oh, that's not what you said you were going to get. It's not even a case of anything that we wanted and that. She said, oh, well, I really want to get the flower of life. That's going to be my first one and everything. And then she just changed. But that's Jamie, isn't it? Like you said, she changes like the wind. Yeah. Next oh. week, she'll be drawing over the top of it, getting a Mickey Mouse head or something. Yeah. And she'll probably get like 10 more tattoos that we don't like. Yeah. But you know, it's like parents. And if you parents out there, you just have to, you just have to let them make their own choices sometimes and their own decisions. She's, she's like older now, so. Maybe your parents who have got a very old tattoo on your body from when you were younger, and you're like, yeah, yeah, I know that one now. And I can't say anything. I have got tattoo. I've got two tattoos. Uh, no, two tattoos. I've got three now. Oh my goodness. Three tattoos. Yeah, and she may not not like the ones that I have, and yeah. my mum may not like the ones I have. But I guess we just have to live with them. We just have to respect her decision, I guess. Yeah, I mean, I, I respect it. I guess it's just the way of. Oh yes, I'm gonna do this and then not doing that. It wasn't even like she called us up and said, actually, I've just seen this tattoo, or oh, I've just thought of this tattoo I wanna do, and mm. I, I think it'd be really she nice. She just totally went behind just, our, yeah. our backs and did it. It's like the moped all over again, isn't it? She just yeah. turned up and it's like, oh, this, this is what is she does though. She just gets an idea in her head and just does it, and like we just don't have a say. But very I'm, impulsive, isn't she? Yeah, I guess that's the way that she makes her own less learns her own lessons in life and yeah. makes her own mistakes and everything, you know. Yeah because she got hit by a car, as a lot of you know. Luckily, she wasn't injured, but maybe she had to do that. That had to happen yeah, to her. Yeah, that was her lesson, I guess. In order it? to realize how easily it can happen on a moped. Yeah, rather than us just warning her. Yeah, but luckily, she was okay. Mm. It, didn't, it wasn't serious. But you know what? I'd love to carry on about how Jamie just, when they did this all behind our back, but we've actually got to head out now because we've got a very fun night to go out to. Yes. Okay, come with us for a bit. Very fun night. Family fun night. I like that Jojo, that's right. He's coming, he's a right party animal, this Jojo. Yeah, he's so popular, isn't he, at these events? Yeah. Last time he's just danced in the middle and like everyone's just dancing around him. And they were cheering. Yeah, 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 clapping him on and everything. Go, Jojo! Let's recreate it tonight. Let's go, yeah. come on. So finally, we are here after a very long time in the car. We're looking forward to enjoying another good fun night at Vegan Nights. I'm so excited. 
I feel good, 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 good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel good, good, good. I feel good, yes, wonderful, good. Good times, good vibes. Gonna make me feel alive in my neighborhood. Feeling connected, no need to step with a collective. No need to rep while respected. No need to check how many skets that we've slept with or how many exes are ringing and texting. Little boy talk, what's the objective? That's a directive And anybody said I ain't done jack Can read the resume and then stand corrected Man should know I'm grand tour or rejected It's evident the way I kill every rhythm And ever since the beginning I've had the will to be different I never listen to opinions as given by idiots With the skills of resilience and a sprinkle of brilliance Man he's moving up from minimum to millions Listening bruv Ha! It's highly unlikely fake fame and fortune could ever define me On a way higher plane Setting the levels to educate the entire game But we don't take it so serious Mate we're having fun here I'm singing this in the street when the summer comes Good, good, I feel good, yes, wonderful, good Good times, good vibes, gonna make me feel alive in my neighborhood I feel good, 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 I feel good, yes, wonderful, good Good times, good vibes, gonna make me feel alive in my neighborhood Love to feel a vibe, love to feel good Love to feel alive in my neighborhood The feeling's right, lift my head up high Okay Special request to all my working class people who are fully oppressed Hold your head high, look to invest in the community, your family, your personal quest Youngers, there's more to life than just money, smoking, girls, falling Hear your dreams calling, take the leap, spread your wings, fly through the sky soaring Life is good, so motivation and inspiration can always be enough to light the wood that's inside Get the fire blazing, see that life is amazing, know that happiness is like a drug but it's not certain that money can buy You only have to look to the sky to see that we're a magical part Of the universe, the planets and stars Get on the road to your destiny, you'll be travelling far Make your mark, break apart from all the non-believers and fake mates that aren't Part of the plan, start where you stand Reach yourself of all the doubt that you've been harbouring And make it happen, go out on a limb Risk everything, you know you got the power to win Power to believe, power to succeed Don't stop until you made your heart shout and sing I feel good, good, good I feel good, yes, wonderful, good Good times, good vibes, gonna make me feel alive in my neighborhood I feel good, good, good I feel good, yes, wonderful, good Good times, good vibes, gonna make me feel alive in my neighborhood So we're back guys, it's the end of the night, I'm all hot croaky again jojo's asleep jojo's sleeping yeah <laughs> we've had a great night we just absolutely love it if you can never get yourself down to vegan nights on a thursday night first thursday of every month it is definitely worth it you have a great time i haven't got my laptop to do a shout out so we're doing them in the next video so if any of you guys have got any shout out requests put them in the comments below and big love to all the people who came over to us yeah so many free gang were there yeah it was awesome yeah supporting us at ethics as well truly appreciate it if any of you guys are ever new to this channel and you like seeing the things we get up to and how our daughter is extremely sneaky and keeps all sorts of things from us then we'd love it if you subscribe but if you're already subscribed hit that notification bell so you're kept up to date on when we do upload videos and if you are subscribed and already part of the notification squad then well done that's for you lou because you complained last time yeah lulu complained she yeah. was like what about all of us have done got both done yeah what do we do yeah leave a really good comment and a thumbs up and we'll see you guys in the next video thanks so much for watching peace out peace out